Hello and in today's video I'm going to take a look at some of the stingrays I keep. Talk a little bit about the size and the patterns and how long I've had them. These two at the front here are my uh, the longest I've kept. They're two females. They're both mini marble Matoro stingray along with the male. Both probably around the 15 inch mark now. These were both born in the end of uh, 2013, so they're around four and a half years old now. One of them actually I started breeding with when they turned three, and the other one took a year longer and didn't have any pups till there was four. The females are missing a few chunks from the disc at the minute because they've been breeding with the males again. This one here is the male I bought, um, six months younger than the females and only about eight inch in diameter. The patterning slightly better on him, although the patterning on all three of them was the same when I bought them. It's just stayed more prominent on the male and seems to have faded somewhat on the females. Later in this video I'll add a section looking at an old video of them so you can see the difference between the pattern. This is the next stingray I'm going to look at. This is my hybrid. The parents of this was a male black diamond and a female pearl. She's currently around 2 inch smaller than my current females. It's around 18 months old. It's the most active stingray I have. If you've seen in my other videos, this is the stingray that's always swimming up the glass when I'm filming or trying to, trying to get more food. I expect it to get bigger than the other females at probably around 24 to maybe even more inches. It's got a lovely pattern and uh, it's probably one of my favourites. The pattern's changed a lot on her since she was younger and it keeps changing so I'd imagine she's going to look very different as she gets bigger. This one's going to be slightly harder to film because it's always buried in the sand in the back corner. This is the last addition to the tank. Uh, I bought this one in December 2017. It's another male, probably about an inch larger than my other male. Um, he's missing slightly the end of his tail, but um, I bought him like that. His pattern's probably not quite as prominent as the original male, but he is considerably older. He's, I, I believe it's about eight years old. As I mentioned previously, one of the females gave birth to pups a year before the other female. The original male showed no interest in the second female until I added the second male. Now, although that second male I don't believe is showing much interest in the females, I think just by having him, his presence in the tank was enough to spur the first male to possibly try and mate with both of them. Um, both females now have given birth to Rays. Um... But I'm not entirely sure which is the father, unfortunately. I believe it is the younger, more smaller male. But I'm not 100% sure on this. They don't seem to show any signs in the hybrid. But the hybrid, again, is only around the 18-month point. So it could be another two years before there's any interest in her. And I've also got the other tank on the left. So at some point, I'm going to split them up and try different combinations. To give the females a break from time to time and... Uh, try different communities. I don't know if anybody else does this but I keep the barbs after they've shed them. These are all the barbs I've found so far between the different tanks they've been in. Um, so in total that's probably over a four year period all of the ones I've found. So there's definitely two or three a year I'd imagine shed. Starting from the very small ones up to the biggest ones, which is around three and a half inch. These are the latest pups I've currently got. One male, one female. They're probably nearly six weeks old now. And in the sump underneath with the geophagus. Somewhere in there's the Megalodorus catfish I bought as well, hiding around the edges, which I've still not been able to film to show you. 
As you can tell now they're from the original video when I uploaded, which then there was only a few days old, the pattern's really starting to come out on them now. You can just see the tail of one of the geophagas there. This is a very old video from when the stingrays was pups. You can see there's all the three originals in there. This is the old 450 litre tank they was in as they grew up. At my parents' house actually. You can see that the pattern's quite different, but it's a lot lighter. Uh, more importantly, though, all three of them was the same. As I said previously, the, the two females have darkened up a lot now, but it's because they was younger, the uh, the marbling hadn't had a chance to really uh, link together yet. I'm sorry this video's ended up being a day late. It's just took me uh, longer to uh, film what I wanted to get filmed this week and find the old videos and try and edit them into this video it took a bit longer than I was anticipating. Um, thank you for watching and uh, I hope I see you again next week.